So can you create a custom instructions or custom GBTs but on perplexity? Well, the answer is yes, kinda. It is not exactly the same as the custom GBTs from ChatGBT, but at least you can uh, use some other elements like you can add some custom instructions or even upload a document or even ask perplexity in this case to uh, read from a specific link when answering your question and in perplexity it is not called gbt it is actually called spaces so that's the feature that resembles custom gpts from OpenAI. but in perplexity it is called spaces and i'm going to show you how you can use it it is actually quite simple and recently they have made it even more simpler and hopefully more logical so here's how you can use it First, you have to navigate to perplexity.ai and click spaces. And then here I have a list of custom instructions, or in this case, they are called space that I've created for my perplexity account. And here I'm going to create a new one. Let's click create a space. And you can name, name the space into anything that you like. I think uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to create a custom instruction or a space that basically will make AI to always provide a table when answering a query. So let's call this one AI news table. And there is this description field, but this is not going to be part of the custom instruction. This is just a description for you. It's just for organizing or managing the spaces, but it's not going to be part of the instruction. And by the way, you can also add some emoji if you want to, but that is also optional. But here, there is custom instructions. Now, even though it says it is optional, but I do recommend to just uh, add something here, like maybe you want to you want AI to give you answer on a specific language or in a specific format, you can always add that instruction right here. So I'm going to ask AI, I'm going to uh, basically uh, make sure that it is giving me a table every time it answers my question. So I'm going to say something like this. Please always include a relevant table into the response. And by the way, I was using a dictation tool. If you are interested about on the tool that I'm using, you can check out in the video description. Okay, now when you're done with everything, you're going to click the continue button. And it will bring you right to the custom instruction or the space that you just created. So before we start using it, there are a few things that you probably need to know. So as I said earlier, the interface has been simplified because it used to be a bit more complicated, but now hopefully it is becoming more logical and easier to understand. Now on the right side of the screen, uh, you can see that there is this instruction. You can always modify the instructions later. And there's also files and links, but they're actually opening the same exact menu. But I don't know why they have two separate menus, even though, even though they are actually the same thing. Now, let's say I have a document and I want AI to always read that document before answering my query. So I have this document that I got from HubSpot. And this is actually a PDF document, but it is so big. So I converted it into a text file, which is totally fine. And basically, I want AI to look at this document before answering to my question. So let's go back to perplexity again, and I'm going to just click files. And I can click add files, or you can also just drag and drop the file into the area. And by the way, you can also select links, and you can insert any links or any websites that you want AI to read from. And theoretically, it is possible for me to just right click on this link and then, you know, copy and paste the link right here. It is definitely on the table, but the reason I don't want to use that is because this document is actually very big. It is six, 60 megabytes, so it's going to take quite a while for AI to read that document, and that's why I'm using the text version. So this is the file. Uh, it is actually pretty big, the file, it's, so that's why it took a bit more time. But basically, once it is done, you can, uh, you can, be, you can make sure that it is going to always read the document that you provided. Okay, now the document has been uploaded. I'm going to close this. And uh, of course, the links menu is actually the same thing. If you open that menu, it will bring you to the exact same interface. So yeah, it, it just, I don't know why they have two different menus for the same thing, but that's okay. Now here, I would say this is the most important part. You can ask anything via these spaces and you can, you know, just choose search mode or research mode. 
And now what's interesting is that you have this option to search uh, the time frame of the content. So let's say you want to do a research, but you want to get content from last month or maybe last year. You can do it right here. You can specify or what, uh, how all the content from the internet that perplexity need to access. So it's very useful for research and you still have access to the AI models. You can also select the mode, whether, whether or not you want to enable web, enable academic, social, etc. It is also available. And there is also this extra attachment. So this is optional. So basically you can add this and then you can also add another file right, right here. But basically, every time you create a new thread via this space, it is going to always read the instruction and always include this document. So that's a few things that you need to know. Now, let me try this by asking AI about the latest AI news today. Please tell me what are the latest AI advancements and news today. Remember, I specified that Please always include a relevant table into the response. Now let's send a message and let's see if it is actually following my request or instruction. It should be because I explicitly asked to include a table. All right, uh, it's not showing me anything. Uh, it's a bit laggy and perplexity has this habit that it is not running. It's almost like it is not running, but it is running in the background. So I guess I'm going to refresh the page a little bit and hopefully we can see the result we can see the thread oh there you go let's send it again there was an error and it's very common for publicity to behave that way i don't know why but it is often happen perplexity is very unstable i actually explained that on my previous video about perplexity why this is very much the most unstable ai tool in my opinion because they kept adding new features they kept changing things and what's relevant today might not be relevant the next week so that's why this is actually not my first video about perplexity spaces there is another video previous video about perplexity spaces but because the interface has changed then i suppose i have to create another video but that's okay for now all right so this is the answer and if you scroll down there should be a table and there you go there is a table that i asked uh, sorry that it provided and because it, it is there because I asked specifically to add a table and yeah that's a that's essentially how you can create a space on perplexity and how you can use it remember if you want to get answer based on the instruction or based on the document that you provided you have to start the the thread sorry the thread via spaces so you have to open spaces first before you can actually uh, get the answer based on instructions but that's basically it and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video